Welcome back. So this is the second half of the video on how to work with uh, cubism. The first video was basically just telling you how to create a realistic looking head from three different perspectives, the front, side, and three quarters view. Um, now what I want to show you is the next step of the process, which is taking those pictures and combining them them together in a way that provides you with that scrambled up face look that you get out of uh, out of cubism. So here's an example of my face in the front and what I want you to really do is pay close attention to the fact that I did not try to make it super super accurate with my proportions. Uh, in fact I let it have a little bit of character we'll call it. In other words he's a little funky and a little weird and I did that on purpose because for this project uh, first of all all of you are new to drawing faces uh, or at least most of you are and so chances are even if you try your best to make a realistic looking face it's probably still going to look a little funky so be accepting of that you're you're new to learning how to draw uh faces in this case so uh be okay with it if it doesn't come out looking exactly like who or what you want it to look like um here's the face from the side as you can see also you know a little funky maybe not as weird as from the front but still a little weird and then from the three quarters view also a little weird now, one thing to remember too is that when you're working with uh, drawing without a model, a lot of the times things do end up looking kind of weird. Uh, and it's because you're making things up. You know, we know what the proportions are supposed to be, but you know, you're still essentially making up the, de the details if you're not looking from a model. All right, now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting a blank sheet of paper and you're going to be trying to combine these images together. So, what works the best is to um, get yourself up to a window and to do this on the window. So I don't have a window to show you, uh, or I don't, well I have a window, but it's hard to shoot a picture or a video uh, with the light behind you, and I have to have light behind me for this. So I'm gonna explain what to do. So essentially you're gonna take one of your drawings, or actually all three of them, take them over to the window for you and take one of the drawings and put it behind a blank sheet of paper. Um, with the light behind that blank sheet of paper, you'll be able to see very clearly the details through that top sheet of paper. So what I have here is just a little desktop light. I can't really use it to trace with because I don't have a flat surface, but uh, that paper that you now can't see through, you're able to see through and see your details. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to trace uh, little portions of each one of your heads together to create an overall effect that's somewhat like this. So as you can see, I've got my character here where I had my three quarters view face that got traced over here. I had part of the face, the nose from the front, but combined with the nose from the three quarters. I have the, the lips from the front and from the three quarter, or from the side and three quarters. Uh, over here, I have an ear from the side. Over here, I have an ear from the three quarters. Um, it looks like up here, I have a little bit of lips that were from, I believe, the side, as well as a nose from the three quarters. Um, down here, there's another nose, here's another ear. So as you can see, I, I've really made a point of trying to scramble this piece up. Here's an eye from the front with an eye from the side, with an eye from the three quarters. So um, feel free to scramble it up however you want. You know, that's pretty much what Picasso did and what the Cubists did when they were doing portraits. And uh, then after that, you can work on uh, getting it all colored so when it comes to color with this project, um, the original piece was supposed to be painted. Now obviously that's going to be a little bit tough for some folks that don't have access to paint at home. So what I've decided to do instead is I've decided to have us do a crayon or colored pencil or oil pastel or whatever you have. What I used was just the Cheapo Depot crayons from the uh, dollar store or the Dollar General I think it was. And it was 48 for a dollar, you know, it can't beat that. It's on just cheap computer paper. And as you can see, the final product was actually pretty outstanding looking. Um, th this painted one was one I did last year, so I kind of uh, did my own newer version of it slightly different this year. Um, so that's basically what we're going to do for this project. And if you have any questions, just let me know.